Well, hi there, this is me again. Now, I started playing this little riff the other day. Just a kind of a uh, diddly diddly thing. particular reason. And then this name popped into my head. Anyway, it's, it's just a, I was at that point I wasn't thinking of writing a song or anything. It was just a thing that came into my head. It's kind of a stranglers type of thing, a bit dark, I suppose, but in a in a funny way. And um, anyway, I thought what I'd do here. Uh, it, I ended up writing a, a, the whole song. It took me a few days, and I thought I'd just explain uh, my, the the process I go through. Um, first of all, I should say uh, I'm playing my um, uh, Almanza guitar here. It's a Spanish guitar. My favourite guitar. It's, it's a good song for. A good guitar for writing songs with. I don't know why, but it's just it's, I call it a friendly guitar. It's got a very soft kind of uh, tone, but it's, it's very easy to play. It's it's a lovely guitar. I don't I don't use it all that much in public, but maybe I should. Anyway, uh, so I was watching uh, Steve Knightley from Show of Hands the other day on his YouTube channel because he's uh, supposed to be out playing gigging. At the moment, he can't do it, so he's going on YouTube and he's giving these little sort of um, workshops, come uh, concerts on it on his thing, and he's talking about all sorts of stuff, how he got into music and uh, who he's played with. It's a br brilliant thing, actually. I uh, really recommend going to to see these videos. But anyway, one of the things he talks about is how he writes songs, and he says people have asked him lots of times where he gets his inspiration. And uh, I mean, folk, the old folk singers, you know, uh, even show of hands, do a lot of country songs. Um, country Life, of course, is their famous one. But, uh, you know, it did come from genuine um, experience. And a lot, of, a lot of folk singers think that this is what a folk song is really all about. It's about old yokels drinking loads of beer and uh, shagging loads of uh, milkmaids and all that kind of thing. But actually, uh, it can be about anything. A folk song, to me, is, is well, it's a stupid term. It's, uh, we're just talking about acoustic music, really. In fact, it doesn't even have to be acoustic. I don't even know what we're talking about. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so he, he, he says he gets his ideas from anywhere. And this is, this is where I got this one from. So I started off. The, the name Dead Eye Joe came into my head, and I thought, uh, first of all, I thought he's met, he must be a, a an American gambler or cowboy or, or a, a train robber, something like that. And there, of course, there are loads of songs um, that's, that are about this uh, topic. Uh, and, you know, when I first started playing uh, music back in the 60s and, and listening to music, you know, Tom Dooley, Hang Down Your Head, Tom Dooley was a, a hit in the hit parade at one time. Uh, Billy the Kid was the Outlaw, there was, a, there was another one. John Hardy, he was another one. I think Woody Guffey sang him, Pretty Boy Floyd, the Outlaw, of course. I mean, I won't list them all, there's hundreds of them. Uh, when I started this idea for this particular song, I thought that was where this one was going. But I, I don't know, I got completely stuck. I thought, I don't know anything about cowboys and... Um, Gunfights at the OK Corral and all that stuff, and it's all a bit old hat anyway. But then I had a bit of inspiration. Jedi Joe was a king of the road, and how he made his mama cry. So I got this idea. He's a kind of speed freak type of uh, teenager, maybe out on the road, driving around, causing causing trouble, and. Uh, now I could I could see this because at one point, not very long ago actually, I was doing uh, some tuition with a load of kids who'd been kicked out of school, 
and car thieving was one of their favourite pastimes. So I it sort of felt I I was on safe territory here. I knew something about what I was talking about here. So I, I made up this song. It's completely made up. There's no nothing, nothing sort of. Uh, it's, it's not a social commentary or anything deep. Uh, when I got to the end of it, um, I won't tell you how it ends. I thought, well, I could have him getting killed, you know, speeding down the motorway and. Uh, you know, having a terrible accident, but I thought it was a bit obvious really, so I've got a different ending. But anyway, I'll, I'll just tell you how it works. So <coughs> I'm thinking of all these things, and I'm writing it down just like this, this is my notebook here. And uh, so that's my first kind of draft, if you like, lots of crossings out, lots of edits. And then I get to a point where I think, yeah, this is, this is uh, possibly a, a, a good song, or at least passable. Uh, let's put it up on uh, on the laptop. So I type it out, and this is where it gets serious because you're thinking it's properly official. It's probably uh, probably sort of uh, uh, you, you know we're starting to get professional. You know proper proper typing, uh, and then I print a copy out. So here we have a printed copy of the words. But I'm still editing. You don't know if you can see that edits there. And I go on like that, maybe make two or three copies like this and keep on editing. I mean, this process could go on for months or it could go on for minutes, yes, literally. Um, so I've got, I've got to this point and then I might, you know, next time I go to a folk club or see, see some friends, I'll sing it out and see, see, see what the reaction is. At this point, I might again change it in various ways according to the reaction, you know. Um, I had one particular song uh, that I was my one of my favourite songs. Of the time. I sang it for years, and then I hadn't I didn't sing it for quite a while. Then I came back into the folk into a folk club and started singing it. And I realised that the, it, although I, I still liked it, there was one thing it missed, and that was it didn't have a decent chorus. So I added a chorus, and it made all the difference. You know, and I, that was after years and years. But anyway, so. I've got this printed out and all that. The last thing I do, and this is very recent, I just bought this, uh, is my tablet here. The good thing about a tablet is that you can have hundreds of songs uh, up there and um, they're also quite easy to read. The last, the very last, the last stage in this process is actually learning it by heart, which I don't bother to do unless I'm going to sort of um, play it a lot. Anyway, this is it. Dead Eye Joe. Dead Eye Joe was a king of the road. How he made his mother cry. Out on the highway, foot to the floor. See him go flying by. Take him out of the driving seat. Put him in a crowded saloon.
can see, but he couldn't beat the CCTV. Though he ignored all the summons to appear before the magistrate. On a country road he ran over a toad and smashed it into a five bar. into the air never wore a safety belt no of course not 